Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys my cloth diaper storage as well as kind of how long it takes me to fold pocket diapers and just my whole routine with that section of cloth diapering. So I have a super, super simple routine. I try to make cloth diapering as uncomplicated as possible. So I'm gonna show you right now what I do. I recently put out a video on how I wash my cloth diapers and when they're done being washed, I hang them outside on our line to dry in the sun. I don't like to put them in the dryer. But when they're done drying outside, I go out and get them. I bring them all into my laundry basket. And then most of the time, I just dump them right in this big bin. This is the bin that I store them in, and I don't really like doing laundry. I don't like folding. It takes way too long, and I feel like I could be doing other things. So most of the time, I just dump the whole thing right in this bin, and then I just pack the diapers as I need them, which works perfectly well for me. I just definitely like doing it that way better, but when I do have time and I feel motivated to fold them, uh, yesterday I folded some and I timed it because I know a lot of you have asked me about how long does it take to pack pocket diapers because you're kind of wondering if you should get into pocket diapers or if you should go with all-in-ones. Pocket diapers are my personal favorite and yesterday I timed it and I will insert that right here. about half of my diaper stash clean at that point so that was about 14 pocket diapers plus some liners and inserts and wipes which I don't fold the wipes ever like even when I'm sitting down to pack the diapers I don't and individually fold these in half like that uh, that just irritates me too much it takes way too much time and I don't worry about that I did have about three covers and liners and inserts and all that stuff and so that took me almost nine minutes to fold all of that, which isn't bad. So if I have my entire stash clean all at once, which never happens, it would take me a little under 20 minutes to fold all of it. So then I, after I fold all of them, I transfer them all to this basket. I make just two stacks of the pocket diapers. I make a stack of all the liners and inserts. I put all the wipes in a big pile. And I also keep my diaper ash cream, as well as these liners that I have to use when I put diaper ash cream on her. I go over all that in my cloth diaper stash and routine video that I will link down below for you guys. And I also keep the spray bottle that I use with the wipes in there. So it's just, it all fits in that bin, probably because it's never all clean at the same time. When we have another kid, if we happen to have two children being diaper at the same time, I will still use cloth diapers for both of them is what I'm planning on right now. When I have enough diapers for two children, I will probably need to find another storage solution, which right now I'm planning on just having two of those big burlap totes. And by then, I'm hoping that we will be in a little bit bigger of a house and Sophia's diapers will be either in her tote or in her dresser in her room. And then the new baby's diapers will be in our room in another storage tote. So it will change a lot as she gets older and as we have more kids. Half of my stash fits really comfortably in there when the other half is dirty. I could pack the entire thing in there if I tried. And then this just goes out in our living room right next to the piano. It's right in arm's reach for where I change her diapers. Our bed is on the floor in our living room and I usually change her on our bed. So it's in a really convenient location. It's right outside our bedroom door as well. So at night if I have to change her diaper, which actually doesn't happen very often, I can just reach right outside the door and grab a diaper and change her and it's not very much fuss. When my daughter was a newborn and we all slept in the same room, she actually slept in our bed. I had a smaller storage tote but it's only about this big. And I would keep the diaper ash cream and her lotion and like two diapers and the wipes and everything in there that I would need during the night because she would sleep in her bed. If she would wet her diaper, I would just like step out of the bed, grab the diaper, change it, get right back in bed. I didn't have to walk over to the living room to grab it. But right now we sleep in the living room so I can just like grab the diaper and wipes as I'm heading in there. I also have on the go wet bags and I, as soon as those are washed 
and I bring them in, I just put them in our diaper bag right away because I only use those on the go. They just live in our diaper bag, otherwise I will forget to bring them with us when we go somewhere, which would not be good and that has happened several times. Our big wet bags just go in another storage bin. It's a little bit smaller than this one out here. They go in the bathroom with all of her muslin swaddle blankets and all like burp cloths and that sort of stuff because they're right by where I take out the big wet bags to hang them on a towel hook to put dirty diapers in as I use them so that's super convenient as well. So as you can see I am a quite lazy cloth diaper when it comes to storage and folding and all that. So I hope you can see that it's not super important to have like this huge fancy storage solution for your cloth diapers. Just whatever works for you guys. We have a pretty small house and I am a first time mom and I don't have a lot of time to fold cloth diapers and it's perfectly fine if you just want to fold them as you need to use them. Like there's just so many different options when it comes to cloth diapering, which is one of the reasons I love it so much. It's just so customizable to each person's needs and their house and their children and just everything. So I love our storage solution that we have found. And so I hope this video was helpful for you guys or entertaining or something. I post three new videos a week on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, and I will see you next time. Bye.